Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decision. In the channel, I talk about different kind of uh, data science and machine learning related stuff. So I I believe you like the videos. So if you like it, uh, please subscribe to my channel and see the awesome videos I created in, uh, in visiting my channel. So today we we'll talk about more about the dot loc method for pandas. So for pandas, loc is very useful method to locating a particular element in the data frame. But you can also use the dot loc for different purposes in our day to day data analysis for machine learning and data science projects right so for that uh, i'll talk about the main two features which i have thought is very useful for the day to day data analysis so the first feature is the filtering and another one is the data imputation so for that what i'll do is that first i'll import the pandas as pd right so if i just import that and then i'll read a very popular data uh, like data science uh, data set would say is the titanic data sets it's a very popular one so i'll just uh, read this particular data set over here and let's see what are the different fields and records in the uh, data set so you can see there are uh, like different kind of features are there like passenger class survived or not sex age okay uh, siblings or something parts fear kb number so this is the different uh, features are there in the data set so how uh, so how do you define like how to find a particular thing in a data set dot loc suppose uh, you want to see um, a particular uh, i would say um, okay so let's see just a minute okay so if i just add a code cell over here and if you want to see a particular thing like if i go titanic dot loc okay and if i uh, give a particular uh, row name suppose i'm giving the row name as zero okay and column name as you have to give the a specific column name so suppose age okay so if I give age over here and if I run this one, you will see 29. So that's the row is 0 and column is age. So you can get the particular element of that particular field. So, okay. So in that way, you can use the dot loc method. And another thing what you can do is the loc is that uh, you can filter out using the loc method. Suppose I want to filter out, so there are different cabins over here like B5, C22, C22. There are a lot of different uh, like uh, cabins are there. So we want to filter out based on that particular cabin, right? So suppose uh, I want to see all the records for the C22 uh, cabin. So what are the different records are there? So for that, what I'll do is that I just set the index as a cabin so in the cabin column i will set as an index for that first so for that what i'll do titanic dot set index and i just write cabin because the name of the column is cabin and in place equal to true so that's why it's make it permanent it's a permanent change in the data frame so if i just run this particular cell here and see what how the data is looks like right now so if i see that so you can see like uh, the cabin column has become the index now in the data frame right now what is the beauty of that now you, using the dot loc method you can just filter out the all the elements of the particular uh, section over here so so you can see like in the titanic data set so this is a different uh, index in this this is the different like um, cabins are there like b5 c22 e12 d7 so this is the different cabins are there and i want to find out what are the different elements records for the c22 cabin all right so for that what i will do titanic dot loc i'll just use dot uh, c22 just i'll give that value over there and it will give you all the records for c22 like there are four records are there and this is the different uh, records for this Okay. Suppose I want to see some other uh, cabin. Suppose it's a E77. So what I will do is that I'll just give 
E77 and if I run this one you can see uh, only one uh, particular field are there uh, particular record basically so this is the their elements of the particular record and suppose I want to see uh, for B5 it's the first one so I'll just do that B5 and if I just run this one so we can see there are two uh, records in the data frame so these are their elements in the whole data frame so in that way we can easily filter out based on the LOC method right and now uh, again I'm showing you like uh, in the six column I will have to see like what are the different six uh, number of records are there so tightening set index now I am becoming six index like male or female as the uh, index of the whole data frame so if I just run this one okay so if I just see the male count dot LOC male so if I just put the mail over here it will give you the all the like records of the mail so if I just run this one okay so it will give you there are 842 records for male participant in the whole data frame and for the female it will be similar to that like it will give you the number of those like 464 so this is the female uh, like participant in the whole data frame so using in that way using the LOC you can easily filter out based on the a particular uh, category in a column and you can find out different things uh, using uh, that uh, particular record so it's a very useful feature in pandas LOC method and now I'm going to tell you a very really interesting thing which is a uh, like in data imputation using the LOC so over here what I'll do is that for titanic reset index like I just reset the index to make it in as a like the same as before so I just run this one in plus equals to true and if I see the data now how the data is looks like right now so it's become the same data now all the data all the columns are in their one place so the normal index is there so you can see the whole data set right now so what we'll do is that suppose it's a it's a sex column right in the sex column there are female male female male so these are different uh, like this is a different genders are there right and if I want to create a particular uh, column with the uh, female or male as a 0 or 1 or 1 or 0 what you can do is that we can use the dummy variable as a 1 or 10 quoting uh, get dummies in the point dash and another one approach would be using the dot LOC so how do you do that it's a really interesting thing so for this what I will do is that uh, dot titanic dot LOC okay then I'll give the condition over there the condition is titanic at six column is equals to if it's a male then I'll just add a particular column called six binary equals to zero so the condition is if the sex is male in that case it will be zero and the condition is if it is female in that case it will be one right so you can see in the data frame there is no any other column but I'll add a column called the uh, binary sex right so if I just run this one you can see uh, if I you can see the data frame so you can see that so it will give you another binary sex column so if I just zoom a little bit out so you can see clearly so it's a female is one male is zero female is one male is zero so is using that like you can see that okay so you can see uh, so female is one male is zero right so in that way it's a very useful thing to do and if I just go here so 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 another approach I'd like to uh, show you like suppose what happened is that in our data frame in our data to data analysis sometimes the data have some null values so we have to input the null values for our machine learning model and everything so for that what we'll do is that we can see uh, like right now in the data frame if I see if there is any null values available over there or not so if I just run this particular cell here okay so you can see so there is no in null value in the data frame so all the zeros so in that case what we will do we will just uh, implant a null value in the data frame so for that what we will do so for the titanic.loc right uh, in the fourth row 
and the fair column will input a null value over there okay dot np dot nn np is a nothing but the numpy okay we imported numpy as np dot nn then we just uh, put that value over there so if i just run this one and see how it is looks like now just see that so you can see as i mentioned in the fair column there is one null value is available now so our challenge is to input that particular null value with the mean of the fair column so how do we do that for that what we will do if i just run this cell uh, so you can see so what for that's a nan value now we have to input that okay so for that what we will do the similar to the earlier method like dot loc titanic fair and is null so in the in the uh, in the titanic what in the pandas what we will do if we put the is null in that case it will give a true or false if it's a null value then it will give you true if it's a, a not null value that it will be false so for titanic fair dot is null if you give and then if you give the same column name fair and equals to the condi the input value that's the titanic fair dot mean so it will impute that particular null value with the mean of the whole column so that that's the case like in the earlier method what we do based on the particular column value we created another column but over here we are using the same uh, like column uh, like column value if there is a null then we'll use the same columns mean in that particular uh, like field okay so you can see like titanic fair is null if it's a null then in the fair column uh, then just impute it with the mean value of that column so that is what it's happening right now so if i just run this one and if you see the if any null value is there or not so there is no null value so it has been imputed with the mean of the fair value so how the value is looks like now so if i just run this cell you can see this is the mean 33.133285 so earlier it was in n now it's and it has been imputed with the null value, uh, like mean value of the whole fair column right so that's the uh, beauty of the dot loc and using that you can use it in your day-to-day -day analysis i think it's it will be very useful for you uh, apart from the another methods are already there so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see the awesome videos i created and thank you and i'll see you soon thanks